another day on the field for members of the Miami Marlins, except this time they aren't competing against another team. They're here at Schofield Barracks hanging out with the Wounded Warriors and spending time with kids on and around the baseball field, which is definitely a morale booster. Miami Marlins, they came out to visit the Wounded Warriors, uh, which is a good thing for us to actually see some other people other than soldiers. Really, I'm a big baseball fan, so really did appreciate the visit of the Marlins. We were hanging out with some of the Wounded Warriors, we're having lunch, we uh, went and visited with them a little earlier. Uh, but just generally over the whole trip, we're just you know visiting the troops and showing our support and having some fun in the meantime. We have fans come out to our game every day and support us, and you know especially you know, in our military you know personnel, it's it's something very important because what they do for us is something we can't repay to them. I mean, giving out you know sacrificing their lives for our freedom and giving me the ability to be able to play some baseball. I mean. I know, it's the least I could do. The visitors are partnered with the Armed Forces Entertainment Program to take part in a youth baseball and dance clinic at Ralston Field. They were more than pleased to donate their time and energy to the program and its cause. We're here with the Wounded Warriors, uh, you know, just boosting their morale, mingling, taking some pictures, and just, you know, here supporting them and, and giving them our thanks. I think that this is just one of those once-in-a-lifetime opportunities that you get to, to come and show your support. And I know, I know there's stuff back home that you can do with sending packages and, and letters and stuff, but actually coming out and getting to see them, that's what's important. Reporting from Schofield Barracks, I'm Sergeant Jesse Antelon.